no possibility that they'll be able to qualify to TI. Even if they win it after the lower bracket, doesn't matter. Aster and Betboom are going to get enough points through top eight. It's not even possible anymore. But if they're able to win, and then Beast Ghost get eliminated, and then Aster get eliminated, and then they win the whole thing, well, then we're talking. Then we're going to have six Western European teams at TI. Is that right? Sounds right. That sounds excessive. We got Tundra, Liquid, Gaiman, Quest. No. Well, no, not Quest, Quest yet. Quest Would be the fourth one. Five seconds remaining. <laughs> Take your time. It's late here. Gaiman, Liquid, Tundra. Mm hmm. Who's the other one? Enigma Galaxy. Oh! Because they're making it to TI. I can love Miracle. Oh, God, wait, who is the actual fourth one? I don't remember. So it'd only be... It'd only <laughs> I'm be very tired. It would, oh, wait, oh, wait, because there's two slots in the qualifier. Yes. Oh, I see. So that'd end up having six if Quest made it. Yes. Because they'd be the fourth direct. That makes sense. I was thinking there'd be five, so I was thinking Quest was the fifth. and. Yeah, I was thinking they're not, not enough either. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, we're two... Give know. them three slots next time. Yeah, seriously. Let's have seven Western European teams at TI. I mean, based on the major results of this year, uh, that's not really that far-fetched. <laughs> we'll see if uh, next year might bring some reallocations. Now you can have our slot, Western Europe. Thank you. No, give it to North America. <laughs> no, 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 please, Western Europe. <laughs> we don't. We have enough over here in a... We have a surplus? Yeah, but there's at least one American going. <laughs> We're good. Honestly, this is pushing the limits. It's too much. Game number three time between Aster and Quest Esports. First pick, Undying, responded by a very game in Gladiator's first phase out of Aster. Io Leshrac. It's about time that we get... Well, okay, so we said that Pugna was like the gas station for the mids that Sumail would play. Io's not really a gas station necessarily. You're always linked up. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like this this duo is only as potent as it potentially could be in the hands of Gaiman. Uh, I also think Medusa is really nice against this duo. Leshrac, any sustain hero really sucks against Medusa because her health pool doesn't get taken down at all. So like Satanix and Bloodstones and such, you don't actually life seal off of Medusa. It's really annoying. She'll probably go Scotty naturally as well. One of the few heroes in the game that doesn't mind buying a Scotty as Moo. I think mentioned off panel. Uh, for anyone out there who doesn't know, for whatever reason, Scotty doesn't work through BKB anymore, uh, even though it was never explicitly stated, and BKB as a whole got nerfed, so it kind of made no sense. Scotty is a debuff, and you are debuff immunity. Oh, crap. Is that actually how it works? Yeah. So it's actually intended. It's not a bug. Yeah, but old debuffs, like, there are some things that go through debuff immunity, and Scotty formerly used to be one of those. You, you would think it would work, but... Because if it doesn't, like, it kind of... The whole point of Scotty before was it would pierce BKB, right, and kite heroes. But now it just doesn't, so it kind of has... Do you think it's intended? Item. Do you think it's intended? I don't think it should be, if it is. Okay. I know I just politically, expertly dodged your question You there, did. Fantastic. But... I don't think it should I still don't know what I'm asking here, but okay. You know, that's how well you dodge that question. Does... I find... Deso, goes... Deso goes through the above immunity, right? It does. So then... Shouldn't all item mod modifiers, because you can get Mjolnir procs? I think it's to counteract the balance of nerfing BKB. They don't want to nerf it too much. I think they just uh, don't want to go back and change the spaghetti code to, <laughs> to fix Scotty. Because somehow there's some wonky way that they recoded BKB, and now like it somehow cl crap cl clashes with how Scotty's coded, and then... Don't listen to Brian. Valve is doing great. Fantastic. In a morphling Rubik patch. All right, something I find really interesting about this drafts is uh, super interesting. They kind of just both have their win conditions just right away, so it just feels like they need to make it work. Uh, yeah, but, but you say that Io Lash is something that you can't play without just pinging. You need to talk a lot to make a combo like this work. You need to draw your farming patterns on the map. If you're, you need to like go this camp and that. Yeah, and but that how, how much can you tell your teammates without talking? Uh, I mean. I feel like it's this this combo is more about the IO paying attention than the Lesh. The Lesh is like you just kinda play your hero and then if uh if a Leshrac knows his limits when the IO is attached, then the IO just needs to make sure that it pays attention to his own positioning according to the Leshrac, right? But from my experience, even when you can speak the same language or whatever, like it, it's all about the Leshrac knowing the limits more than the IO. 
Because if you think about it, the IO is going to attach the Lesh no matter what, but if the Lesh track is not aware of how strong he is, like, it's just the IO player, like, kind of yelling at them to go. <laughs> so, so, it's a lot easier when the Lesh is in control, right? Yeah, so you messed up the Sumail gauge last game. I did. How are you, how are you feeling about the Sumail gauge this game? Hmm. We don't know the mid matchup yet. Yeah. So maybe that controls it. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. Okay. There's yeah. your out. Do you think Noob's just going to pick Primal again anyways? He did it against Leshrak and... I don't, I don't think he should. It's not a good matchup for Primal. And it's also not good versus Bat. I feel like it was one of those things where he accepts he's getting counterpicked. He'd want to just be Primal. But uh, now that he has... He has the vision, right? He has the, the knowledge here of what he's playing against. He might change it up. Is there a noob co-op in his future? Like, does he play this hero? Noob, I know noob puck's a thing. I wouldn't mind puck here. He has not played co-op in this tournament. Okay. I would like puck then, based on what I know about him. He has also... Oh. Boom! Wow. Noob puck. He does it again. Now, we need a vengeful spirit. He doesn't why do you, it again. Why are you throwing your predictions, Brian? <laughs> Sorry. It does synergize really well with what we got going here, but that hero sucks. Remaining. Probably just gonna go. So Quest wants to just keep the less rack out of range so the Medusa can slowly whittle, whittle the less down. And Aster wants to try to put the uh, Medusa out of position, right, with this Batrider pick. Oh, they could go Disruptor here. Uh, they, or, I already or just called Techies. I already called Techies. Yeah. There's the Vengeful Spirit. No, I said Techies. <laughs> so they, they could pick up their offlaner here. They see the whole lane. And uh, they see the mid as well. If I was on Aster, I'd probably ask Hero here. I'm not exactly sure what I would want. You you actually have a lot of options, as weird as it seems, versus Medusa Undying, because uh, no matter what you pick, you're not really going to crush the Medusa. So there you go. You just pick the fish. I don't love this tie pick. Why? I feel like... It's good with the Lash though, I think. Like, with, with Lash in the game, I feel like you always want your offlaner to be like some beefy frontliner to protect you in the team fights. I think I think his job here is to keep the Lash alive as well. Like, he's gonna buy a pipe, Anchor Smash the Dusa, Lash I'll do the rest. I'm just concerned that like, they hey, they can't kill the Puck. But they don't need to kill the Puck if Lash is killing everything. I'll have you know I won a tournament game to this, uh, I think here, that I didn't have to kill the Puck. Yeah. The ball is just about the Lash, you know, if the Lash is alive, the Lash will eventually kill everything else. So why don't they have to kill the Puck, Moo? Well, or you both seem to be on the same page. I don't, I don't teach know. Teach me, guys. Teach me. I, I've had, like, three games this patch in competitive, either in scrims or matches. I've had they all mix <laughs> together, where the Puck actually ended with zero deaths, and I won the game, so... I feel like you can kind of just ignore the hero and... I feel like if you can't kill him and he can't kill any of you, like, that's fine, you know? Like, you just need a pipe. Make sure he can't cut the creep waste. The creep waste is alive. You can put the lash, and all. That's all that matters. You know, the the puck can just, you can just ignore the puck. Okay. It kind of goes back to what you guys were talking about in game one, which is why you didn't want Samael on puck because puck's a hero that requires communication. You dream coil. Maybe it's an offensive dream coil. Maybe it's a don't worry about these people dream coil. Either way, puck is not killing anyone. You need your team to participate, and so if puck is unchecked, it's not gonna kill anyone. Yeah, I mean, they are liking a bit of mid-game damage on Quest. Medusa uh, obviously takes a while to come online. Uh, Dying is not exactly known as the source of damage. Like the true carry. Like, he's amping the damage, but he's not doing it. An offlaner. So what is the offlane pick? I don't know. Amar hasn't been known for his giant hero pool, so... He is expanding it. He, no way he goes raised. Dude. He is busting something new out here for us. Last right. game of the day. Must be some Viper. <laughs> Already Viper gone. Already banned, oh. Viper. Oh, no. <laughs> exactly, see? You're seeing the ban list now. Okay, I'm, I'm looking through this. I actually did not catch either of these games. Oh, it's... Oh, they banned Doom. Sorry, go ahead. Quest on Amar played Slark twice. Let's yep. fucking go. That I did is, not see those games. That is actually a very good Slark game here. It might be coming out. <laughs> um, That'd be sick nasty. I mean, the idea is the same as the other heroes, right? I think he just wants to be really annoying to kill and scale well into the game. Mm -hmm. So they ban Viper Razor. Here comes the Slark. If they actually Slark, it sounds trash. But like, I, I'm <laughs> down. They uh, they won one of the games. They lost the other game. Yeah, 
I mean, think about it, right? I think it makes sense as an offlaner. You're, I'm thinking about it. You're hard to kill, you have a save, very mobile, have a catch ability, right? And the way you win the fights is by just making them go as long as possible. I feel like that fits a lot of criteria for the offlane right now. Maybe the laning is a little rough, but... There it is. They actually freaking picked it. Well, I mean, this hero doesn't do damage, though, like in the mid-game. Yeah, he does. Wait, what was his build? Did he go like Vanguard, or did he just go like Echo Saber Defusal, like normal Slark shit? I will investigate. Normal Slark items. Oh, oh the Seeker. Okay, so I would like to clarify. Uh, can, can you can you look up Dota buff matchups for Medusa? Or for Bloodseeker? Uh, I know you're looking up Slark. You're, you're giving me a lot of I, 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 <laughs> Sorry, my internet's not working for some reason. So. Okay, well, for your first question is, uh, Amar went... First item Midas against Azure. Very good. When normal. he offlaned, and then he went uh, Defusal, Agonim's, Harpoon. Okay, so normal items after the Midas, okay. And then, and then I need to wa I want to know Bloodseeker's loss percentage against Medusa, because that matchup's really bad, because Medusa's 100% HP all the time, and then she also doesn't allow you to use your shard at all, and Bloodseeker's also all about BKBing and running in, which Medusa counters. Uh, yes, Bloodseeker's worst matchup is Medusa with How, a 7% disadvantage. 7% disadvantage. I think the idea here is the Lesh is the win condition, the Bloodseeker's there. Okay, pull up Lesh, God Lesh damn it, matchup I, against no, Medusa. I don't care anymore. Okay. Just to give a number, people will assume actually, it's right. In my experience, not that bad. The Lesh can get a shard and the Medusa just can't move out of it. Just eventually, it's mm. whittled down. Okay, I see. So you think they're gonna... Okay, who's kiting who here? Because it sounds like you're saying they're gonna kite the Medusa. They're tr gonna try, right? Okay. And the Slark's there. I don't believe in this slark. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Winter, what do you think? I don't believe in a slark. I think eventually the Lash is just going to win the game with the tide behind him. They don't need to kill the slark. They don't need to kill the puck. They don't need to kill anything but the buildings. I like this. I actually kind of agree with Winter. All right. Well, let's see if okay. it plays out that way. Or if off is going to be coming to your pub soon. Let's find out in game number three with OD Pixel and Fogged. Thank you very much, Tsunami. Yes, the deciding game now here between Quest East. Asta, and uh, well, we're getting it uh, with the Amar, well, one of his one of his specials. One of his heroes. One of his specials. Yep. Offlane Slark coming into play, and uh, an interesting, I, I guess, last pick rip it's... from Asta. They're very quick with it as well. They get this Bloodseeker, um, but uh, certain heroes, certain matchups in this game that uh, yeah. can be pretty one-sided, Fog, from the stats. Uh, Lesh's worst matchup is Medusa. Bloodseeker's worst matchup is Medusa. So when you look at that, it's actually, it's definitely a really good game for it. So I'm definitely curious to see why they saw the Bloodseeker is going to be so good. I guess it must be just because, yeah, set up Sumail for success. It worked last game. I mean, Sumail definitely completely popped off last game as the Ember Spirit. So he did. Blood Rage Last Strike does do a ton of damage here. But yeah, as I said, just conceptually, Bloodseeker is, yeah, Ruptured does nothing versus Medusa because she just stands there. Shard doesn't really do much of anything. Hero never gets low on HP, quote unquote, obviously, because your HP doesn't move, so Thirst doesn't work. And then for Lesh, problem is that you're an incredibly high int gain hero. So Medusa always has a good target to be able to snake, get restoration. Running is a Lesh right can be problematic because one thing that Lesh does hate is getting burst. So get if you get caught by Stone Gaze, that can be something that Lesh can really falter versus. But hey, we'll just have to say. I mean, this is definitely the Slark last pick. It looks a little bit weird, but this looks like a phenomenal Medusa game. So, I, I think it looks like a good Slark game as well. I think I think it looks like a good Slark game too. It's just weird because it's offlane. Sure, but it offlane Slark, it's really good right now. It's really good. <laughs> if Owen said that, I be think, careful, everyone. I think it's going to be good here, and I think people have... you got to start playing it in your pubs, boys. I mean, it's, it's definitely obnoxious. It's good. And, and also, everything else was banned. Amar literally had nothing else left. But looking at the draft, right, he's versus Batrider. Versus Tide can be some situations where he's annoying. Even just a shard can be pretty good. Yeah. So. And he's in we'll a lane see. where, you know, they picked a melee carry into him. So he's going to be able to trade. He's going to be able to get a bit of essence shift here but, and there. But Bloodseeker overall versus Slark is a very, very good. Sure. Bloodseeker is literally like the hardest counter in most situations. Sure, but I think there's going to be potential <laughs> for Amar in this lane against Monet in the, and Baboka. In the lane, I'll have to say I agree. Especially because he has a techies behind. I think that's one that does make it so you can actually be pretty aggressive, but... And we'll have to see how it does end up going down. And we'll see how these mid, this mid matchup end up going down too, because Sumail, he really owned last game. And I he felt did. like it was a big contributing factor to why they ended up winning that game of how much, how well he did versus Noob. Solo killed the Snapfire and just rode the momentum. Now, what about what about this top lane then? Uh, having Pichu on the uh, the bat rider supporting XXS, is this going to cause any issues for TO2000 in the safe lane, or is this going to be another case of well, pretty much the, the repeat of what we saw from Asta last time around, this undying Medusa. I think it'll be a repeat. It feels pretty free for him. 
it's not easy for you to commit for it. Sure, Batrider deals one of the highest damages in the game, especially like level two, level three, but there's an Undying. Tidehunter is a pretty good hero though overall versus Dusa as the game goes on, but in the laning phase can be a little bit, you know, a little bit difficult for you to actually slow her down too much for distance and keep. It'll be a fun one to go off together. I just cannot believe that. I like how upset Brian gets. It's so funny. Brian's like, Slark! I hate it! <laughs> but he definitely has its merits. And they're already getting aggressive bottom, Monet. The blast off does not quite connect, but the damage is there. I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot. You see, you can't trade with this Slark at the moment oh, in the lane. But they will get the Omar. They, they get Omar, but they won't be touching Omar. Omar is perfectly fine. Heal up going. He should be able to with Pavoka giving the extra body. I mean, but Amar is back up in a second. Yeah, they, they got to be careful. Yeah. He's, he has stick charge. Okay, just the... We will not be afraid to battle them. Mid lane. Pretty even on these pretty first even. few waves. Should be a slight Mal, lash actually, advantage. Yes, but... Mal's going to have this wave coming in. Actually, so yeah. He's actually got about a, a wave CS. So yes losses and denies a lead. I feel like this one should just be like a very, very small lush advantage, if anything. But as we saw, you know, Sumail playing even at a bit of a disadvantage in the last one. He just owned so hard. So, was, yeah, we'll see. Healing Lotus. Who's going to get it? They'll take it away. The techie's able to snag it. And top, they do get it as well, too. So, quest grabbing both of those. Always going to be important for the laning phase. Especially versus an IO. It's, um... Duo that we saw us to have success with this time around. Quest, it, it's setting up for TA 2000 to get very easy free, free farm by the looks of it. At the least, you do see Michu, he is going to be taking away the at least a small camp, but they're trying to with Firefly. It actually doesn't end up dying, so Kayori might be able to clean it up. Actually, finds a courier though, so he does find TA 2000's gloves of haste. And seeing X success, he is absolutely free farming up here versus not slowing down the dude. So, Tidehunter should be able to farm freely. We're gonna make another go here for, for Mone on the bottom lane. Okay. Omar. He might, might be in trouble. trouble. He's, He's got the heels. It's enough to, to force right. Mone to sort of back away. Look how fast they are. 540 movement speed on these two. Uh, they're speedy. Poboka can go. I mean, Poboka can freely harass with this movement speed. Look how fast he just walks up and hits them. And yeah, he's hasted. 550 movement speed. Causing an issue there for Omar as Mone is securing that lane farm. He is just getting healed up to full. They've been able to put any pressure onto this Bloodseeker at all. So that He's too fast. They can't actually cast connecting Blast off onto this. How do you hit a 550 movement speed hero? Really not easy. Okay, lead actually up to this already here for us. Mid lane starting to, yes, to get, get quite the leap for some out. Holy crap. I mean, I did not expect this, but this is important because he's also keeping the puck low HP. Yeah, he's having to walk back to base, Noob. Like, look how low Noob is. Uh, yeah, Monet is just zooming because of it. Man, Sumail. Almost level 6 already on this slash. Top. And they actually get Kaori here. But the point in a sticky to go for committing the kill and... He should be able to finishing him. Yeah, easy knock back with a flame break. He'll drop the tombstone, but he won't. Oh, by this all big heal. One more decay off. He's dead. A bit too much for this undying to survive. Tier 2000 will manage to hold them back and make sure he can't farm the tombstone as well. He drops his treads too. So the undying, yeah, will be able to TP back to a top lane and bring full treads since he did die earlier with the courier. Loves a haste. Good kills for Aster. Getting the ball rolling here is, I mean, XXS, he's going to have a very early meteor hammer because of this getting even involved in something here, so we'll be able to apply some pressure. Ichu is going to start getting some stacks going. Good first six minutes here. Monet is Monet's not feeling the pressure at all. Boboka is able He's to just kind of dissuade it. But it'll be fine. We'll see the strength <laughs> of the offlane Slark. Why, you love, why do you love Slark? You have some type of good actual it, just good love hit, for the hero. I mean, infinite scaling. Infinite scaling. Infinite scaling, that's what everybody wants to... And that's why I'm all this era. It always corrects me. I, I feel like I just associate you with Slark so much. Okay, okay. He's trying to trade back with Monet. Ma. Mar. Did pounce. Pounced. 
Uh-oh. He may not be okay. He's not okay. And he is not okay. Oh, the connection, can they get a trade? Oh, no. Omar, they we'll get kept the poke up, but not before Amar falls himself. Nope. There is a taser, though, so Omar, he'll be okay. Chew. Mikori's trying for him. He's actually going to drop the tombstone. Samel's come across, so Pichu's going to be fine. He already is very dead. Son on the high ground is going to be a little annoying, though. He's dancing around it. He's there making Samel work, and he actually might make him work too much for it. I connects the stun. That should do it. Samel. It's also going to get topped up a little bit by the Boca. The Boca will clean up the zombies off his friend, too. He's like, don't worry, buddy. I gotcha. And the bottle. The is there. Lane's looking hot. All right, we'll see. what he's, Is he going to do the Midas build again? Because I think this is the same thing that I saw happen to him one of the last times he played the Slark. The lane didn't really go as well as he expected it to. And then, yeah, he just had to go Midas recovery. Oh, I don't know about that. Well, you don't like it? We'll, we'll see. <laughs> the jump in. Trying to abuse the fact that Money's on his own for now. But, yeah, Money feeling pretty strong. Got his triple slippers of agility. Got all the stats for this lane. He to, to trade back and fight back as an engine. Level five, he's going to be hitting good time on the level six, this safe land Bloodseeker. Well, Owen, I think he actually did end up losing both of the Slark games, didn't he? I did he? I thought they said it went 50 50. Did they lie to me? I was doing, I was doing some check. check I have myself. a look. Oh, no, never mind. That was a different song. They played a, they played a carry Slark game. Eh? So the game that Amar did go Midas is the one that he won. The game that he didn't go Midas is the one that he He's holding we'll his, as I said, onto the gloves of haste. We'll see if he spends up for the other components of the treads. So I, I think the important, the, naked Midas. the important thing for Quest is, though, that the, the Duce is having that good game, right? But the I, I cannot believe how one-sided this is going down here. Of course, now it's the last just being able to get, like, enhanced and farmed, of course, from, with uh, with the Io at the back. But Sumail just doing incredible stuff here versus Noob Spock. He's on his way down bottom. Stuff going here. He's very... Another good, very good hero versus Slark Owen. That's true. A lot of damage to... Hit the slot with, despite any sort of shadow dance. And Samael, he's waiting for him. Amar walks straight into it as they set up around their vision and they kill off the slot. And top tower is already starting to get sieged here a bit here from XXS. Mid game does feel like it's going to be a little bit difficult for Quest to kind of recover. Yes, they have the deuce of free farming, but the Slark is going to want to just kind of farm. And Noob is also not in a position where he's like, I just want to sack my game to make moves around. Sumail is constantly putting the pressure onto him. Noob. We'll have to be sneaky there with his orb. Yeah, tons of attention. This puck. It's not going to be an easy place for him to kind of make moves around. And I think the best case scenario right now for Quest is that just that TA2000 is farming, but I feel like Aster have opportunities now at this point to maybe start applying even more pressure onto towers. Level 2 Edict is ready on mid, and they have this constant hammer up. And the Boca, he's ready to take him over. Oh, yeah. Brings some ale over to the bottom Another lane. Run. Amar dead again. Oh, this is problematic for Quest. As good as it, as good as good Medusa can do versus its matchups. He's got his work cut out for him. He's got stacks. That's a lot of farm on these calls of Aster. Yeah. Some mail. Definitely uh, feeling good after that game two. Lucky to continue that success here into game three. And he's gonna, it's not just this, this time, it's a Lesh with an Io and with the Bloodseeker Owen. He's gonna get Blood Raged. He's gonna be tethered up. He's gonna be dishing out that damage. They're continuing to enable him. Look at these stacks with Boca. Another double stack at the ready for Sumail. Yeah, tough request to make too many moves around the map here because of yeah, the slowdown for, for Noob. Is Amar going to queue up the Midas? Still have to find out because he's so poor. Simone. Rupture back up in a few seconds. Look how much damage he does to Noob in just a couple of swings. Noob incredibly fragile. Stacks start getting farmed. I mean, XXS, he already took top tower. He goes back to his stacks around his Ancients. Cruising. Sack's going to be formed, though, Quest. It's all about making sure this Dusa gets absolutely every single one of these. Master, they're going to actually look to contest here with Sumail. Actually, the farm's already been taken, though, so th doesn't want to be too fussed. They'll block the camp, though. Just a quick body block there from the aisle, at least to slow things down. Waste their mana and trying to go for Kaori. He's coming in from Quest, bringing both Noob okay. and Omar over towards the mid. But... Omar's gone for the... He's actually going to be the one to go for Vessel. I was waiting to see who's going to be that answer to try to deal with the Io Lesh snowball that's 
and is starting to ramp up very quickly here. Omar needs one more creep for his six. Okay, now he's got it. Now perhaps they, they do have great kill threat onto pretty much anyone. A coil plus a techies is gonna kill anybody. Last to be ready for the movement. The other one making the first one here on mid. One a. Be a bit careful of his positioning here. I mean, they're drawing the line to kind of catch him as he's going to be going into the jungle here. They I mean, if they, actually they get catch the him dream apart. coil on him. He's dead for sure if they get the coil on him. He gets the suicide first. He does. They, this should be a pretty easy kill. I mean, TPs will be coming in as well as the real. Okay, they might lose heroes in return for it. As, uh, of course, they get Monet. Let's see how much he has to can punish them. Noob is also ruptured. He could be in trouble. 100 HP. Gonna try and jump out with the old oh, TP. You know, I don't know if they know that. Now they're not gonna look for him. Relocate will bring them back toward the mid lane. They're gonna keep their push going. So they get a kill, they lose Monet, but they're gonna get a tower out of it as well too. So Aster reacting nicely. That's here, 2,000 TP's in, but nothing to be done to stop the tower from going down. More money into the pockets of Samao. And yeah, Amar queues up. To the late game we go. It's not a bad strat. It's not a bad strat in this sort of situation. I mean, you saw it yourself, right? Medusa has pretty good matchups this has game. Has good matchups. As long as they don't fall too far behind. Sure. The comeback potential is pretty high. Comeback Plus, potential is, lineup. is definitely possible. There's definitely going to be now, though. Puck has no game. Slark has no game. So now for Aster, it's going to be answering the Medusa entirely with itemization and stuff like that, too. So Halberds are going to be a plenty. They have a Tidehunter already, also, who's really good if he gets in the face of the Medusa. Anchor Smash is very annoying for this hero. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Asta definitely going to have to take this lead and, and punish Questies yes. towards Harp with it, which has, in the past, been something that Asta sometimes have struggled yeah. with. Yeah, it's been it's troublesome for a lot of teams. Sometimes they slow down a bit too much. Mm -hmm. We'll see if that's going to cause them issues here or... They're going to they, be able to ride on the fact that all three of their cores have had such a blazing start. Even their Batrider, he's got a blink dagger. Yeah, that's so true. Pichu, I mean, Pichu. he's been quietly kind of farming up the storm. Now they have a they have a way to start fights themselves also, besides just running in and charging. They actually can get these lasso plays and maybe just chain stun and kill people. Yeah, here we go. They, I mean, they, they should know how strong they are, Asta. And uh, they should look to, to use that to their advantage here, looking to make consistent plays and just not allowing this game to slow down. Oh, I mean, they have so much heal threat. These two do so much damage. Even versus something yeah, like TA2000. He's not going to expect this blink timing. No. And there it is. Jump forward. The immediate TPs are coming out. See if they can burst through him. The Ravages there. And they've easily got they the 2000. A very, very nice and surprising Blink Dagger reveal there from Pichu that catches TA2000 by complete surprise. There's no way you expect that from the Batrider in particular. Maybe you expect someone else to, and oh, look at the timing as well. He's going to sneak in, grab the Wisdom Rune off of it as well. Aster, the dream, I mean, dream 14 minutes right here to shut down Quest. Yeah, let's keep it going. Dusa still farming, though. Well, Dusa's dead. Well, Dusa still, I mean, overall still. <laughs> yeah, I know, you, I know what you mean. Still at the top of the net worth, TO2000. <laughs> still, still in a good place. A bad place at the moment, but overall, a yeah. good place. The Manta's, I mean, Manta's online. Especially since they've gotten pressured so much in all three lanes. So he's just been able to still keep himself kind of toe-to-toe -to -toe there. And Amari, yeah, Midas is done. You know how he's going to recover. I mean, he will. He will. He will recover. I don't think there's any doubt about that. You give this game 10 just, minutes and he's going to be up there in the top what, three. What is that recovery going to do? And what items is he going to go to try to make do it? I think, what, you just go like Mage Slayer, probably? That's what he had queued up earlier, but... I feel you like want, you could go a bit more greedy, more carry-esque. I mean, Mage Slayer's carry? fine, but... And we'll see. Okay. Either way, he's going to want to get the shard. Sure. I feel uh, like you, you've got to enable your oh, Monet. This is kind of a really... This is a really nice catch. Kind of the dream one. Hey, remember the blast off. They get the jump upon him and indeed Monet's dead. Very good kill. Noob the one to pick up the, the kill. Pick up the gold. He's going to blink dagger soon. He's starting to recover. Noob hasn't died. I, I, said, I, said, I know it's a good start for us. They've got this lead, but I feel like I've seen this story before. Sometimes Asta... They just lose this early game lead. They, they, I mean, it's also, it is Bloodseeker in his absolute worst matchup. We do have to yeah. kind of reiterate that one versus the Medusas. People just tuned in later on, you know, you don't know. Thirst does nothing. Shard does nothing. Rupture is pretty useless, but... Well, I mean, Samael's got to carry this game. He does. He is the real got carry. To carry this hard. So far, so good. 3-0-2. But they've got to keep it going. If this He's... slows down, it, it's only going to get harder and harder for Samael to carry this this game out to a victory for Asta. Yep. Just blood Rage him. Make sure that he's just got absolutely everything. I think soon it's going to be a call to maybe go for that Roche play as well, too, for them. 
They don't really have the Undying, though, so they don't have the best ways to actually kill Roche quickly on the side of Aster. Three. West kind of looked to, I mean, they're just going to look to play the economy game. They're having I imagine a good just time. Shoving stuff out. 5k lead down to a 4k lead. Aster's got to do stuff. They, they're, and they're doing it. They're going for Roche. This is the right call. It's not the absolute fastest because they don't have that Undying, but... It's a pretty safe one. Yeah. Spell Lamp onto the last. She stays yeah. full HP. And they know, and Quest knows themselves. Even, even They may be aware this rush is going down, but they have no interest in going there, Quest. It's not part of their game plan. They're just playing the farm game as uh, has got them out of some very tricky spots before. Could do so again here in this game. I mean, even kind of in this series a little bit. This game, right? TA2000, he tries to get his Ancient stack, it's been blocked, so Aster, the, they are doing a good job of not just pressuring the map, but also pressuring with just like little things like, you know, wards. I think they've I've seen a couple times where these camps have been blocked as Omar trying to cut a wave. They'll come in with a relocate They'll to catch off. him as well. Yeah. It's bound to happen when you're this split up on the map for Quest. His Vessel is almost done. Almost having a little bit of an answer for that IO. And then yes. Kaori's down here as well. Kaori too, yeah. Got yep. Meteor Hammer. Be able to get Wait for the supports here. Hammer will catch him. Oh, he actually just clipped him. He's going to try for the TP force out. Okay, no, they're, they're no. not going to drop any ults for that. They didn't have lasso yeah. and they, they don't want to use Ravage for that one. So they'll let him live. Yep. And look at Noob with positioning around another tier two. Cuts a creep wave. It's all about the economy game. Trickle your way back into this one on quest. I mean, it's a good trickle, honestly. It's it's a, it, the money's coming in for them. It puts, it puts fear into Aster for sure, right? Yeah. Like he, as I said, like it was kind of, it's not the exact same by any means, of course, the first one, but it's still like the onus on Aster is going to be, eventually, will you be able to answer, will you have enough for Medusa? Yeah, you'll kill Slark, maybe you'll have some stuff for Puck, but will you have the answer for TA2000 once he starts getting these items online? So yeah, ahead of the Lash, he's still keeping the pace, ahead of the Bloodseeker. Oh, they've got this Aegis, they've got to get stuff done with this Aster. get stuff done, but look at the cutting of the waves. I mean, Noob just cut, I believe, two or three waves up in top. And they get this push going down toward bottom. And sort of what flash, flashbacks to game one where the uh, Aegis push at the tier two did not go well. This time round, there's more reason to believe that it will go a lot better. There's no the glyph. They're in. Yeah, there's and no glyph and there's not like these beat, Quest beat don't want to fight. Mm. They don't want to fight. They'll allow tier twos to go. They don't want to take any risky moves around that. Aster, High I ground. Keep going. I think Aster should just keep going. This is going to be a bit of a different story. Quest are probably going to want to do something about this. Got Edict up in three seconds. Trying to force that glyph out. We'll be able to get it. He actually didn't pop the Edict. Oh, they're in. They they're can lasso onto Noob, but they got the follow-up. They do. Samel's there with the stun. Ooh. A great catch from Pichu. And, and they still have... Now they have Edict for the tower. They already popped the glyph. It's dropping quick. And TA2000 will turn up to help. He has to. Defense it. Yeah, he has to be here for this hold. Cannot give up Araxis early on here. The side of quest. Getting whittled down. A good damage here from Samel. Already down to half HP. Five seconds until Noob's back. Next creep wave quite far away, so yeah, I think uh, they're fine. A bit of safety here for Quest. Esters. I think Esters still happy with the pressure that they're able to put there. They catch the puck and they force the TA2000 back into the base, which means he's not farming. Yep, and they've still got many minutes, well, at least two and a half minutes to play with the Sages, mm -hmm. so... And we and did easily look to bring around the mid lane, look for another tier two. We did get to see what Amar built. I kind of felt like it had to be this okay. item. He's playing versus Lash and Batrider. It's too good of a game not to go Mage Slayer, so... Does end up going Midas Mage Slayer, I believe, then Shard. And then he's looking at Lincoln, so looking for some answers versus this lasso in particular. Yeah, the early blink dagger for that bat rider now has caught two big cores. Bat catching the Medusa once and then catching that puck afterwards. And they're still lingering in the area. They want to try to keep this pressure going here. Tormentor's at the ready too if they want to go for it. Full BKB on Monet. Almost having a next item as well. Definitely uh, keeping the pressure on much better than they were able to in game one. Yeah. Asta. Ooh, and they get a good shard. They get Babokas. Kumail enabled from this. They're going to keep this push rolling. Yeah, they should keep forcing it here, Asta. Tower is low. Radiance middle tower is under Look at Noob. I mean, Noob's telling his team, guys, just cut the next wave. I'm going to get the next wave after that. Try to stop this push from continuing to go. See a Pichu, though. He's ready to look for a jump. Let's see if Asta can succeed with this. If the quest is so far back, they're not looking to get lassoed. This tower is dropping. Blood Rage Lash. Just keep it going, Asta. Onto the racks. And they get the another jump. Pichu once again with the catch. He's caught out Corey this time. Blood Rod to follow up Corey. He is gone. 
See them turn up with Amar. They're trying to go towards Samal, but look, Samal heels. still got the sages for a full minute. Samal just steps in to chase down Omar, takes out another noob. We'll be able to burst through the ages of Samal. They're going to buy back. The Rax is dropping. Success. And the Dream Call onto the two of them, but they have any follow up damage. These are two pretty tanky heroes, and indeed taking him out to safety. Does mean XXS is left behind. Amar pounces forward. The Ravage is there. The XXS is gone. The space has been created, though. The melee rack's taken away by Asta. They'll have to maybe give up a Boca. Actually, he gets the tether off. Can he disengage? Just get hit by the Scardi. So they'll get him. But they got a Rax. They did. They got, the, they got what they came for. Not it's without actually, a bit of a cost. They might even get the range. Yeah, they're going to get the range racked as well, too. This catapult's going to finish it off. So both of the racks down here. And they do get the last shot and the blood secrets. Two backs. A good hit from Aster. Yeah, they needed that. Exactly what they needed to get done with that Aegis first. Big push from that. And it is a success. They get the full set. Continue to, to look to, to keep ticking off the boxes. Two and a two, well, about three minutes until we'll see when Roshan's up again next. The, the question's going to be now whether Asta feel that they can force something when they don't have the ages, or if this is going to be three minutes where things slow down again, which of course will definitely feel to benefit Preston and uh, yeah. TA2000. Amar, with his Midas, he, he is catching back up. He's catching up, he's already in the top five. These moments do pass where Asta don't go for anything whilst they don't have the ages. West are going to be feeling better and better about the situation despite losing the barracks. It's not West the end of the world. has a deep ward up here. This might catch Aster off guard if they're not careful. I don't know if they expect... I didn't see when they placed this ward. So now would be the big catch. Miller Monet. Monet indeed, and Monet's going to walk straight into them. He's just, just completely gone. jump him. He's able to get the BKB off, but the stone gaze was there for TO2000. Monet's taken down, and they're also Poboka to fall. Double kill for TO2000. more. Amar's in. Can't quite connect though. Great catch. They catch the completely off guard. I mean, I have no, I literally have no idea when they placed that ward. I did not see when Omar was able to swing over there. Yeah, 2000. Does he get the last hit? He does get the last hit on both of the kills too. Just out again in the replay. Let's just say, just not, not a chance that they'd have any idea that they would be waiting for them in that sort of position at this moment of the game. But they were TO2000. Picking up the double, that was more clever. money for the Medusa. That was a really clever move by them there. Yeah, TA2000, the song's online. And they are, I'd imagine that it's starting to be the problems of start getting your solar crests, your drums, etc. Start getting this Medusa ready to 1v9. A DD rune to be spotted as well. That's a nice rune. I like they'll just have to deny it. Make sure that Asta don't get it themselves. Roshan, uh, we'll find out about Roshan in about one minute. Are they going to look to go group up even before that, though? They need the rush. They need the rush. I feel like they need it. And it's going to give TA2000 that time to finish this butterfly. For the smoke up, they know how important it is to secure this point of the game around this next potential Rosh respawn. They have to, to get some sort of kill. Be now in favor of Quest for the first time. Gold lead has chunked completely it's, down, it's too. It's only going to keep going that way. Unless Asta can get back on track with the push. What's Roche going to be? If it's a long spawn, that could be pretty brutal for Aster. If it's some, like, three-minute spawn, the quest is going to be super happy because of that. Be shortly. R nearly has Lincoln's finished up, so starting to get more solutions as well, too, versus this Blasso. Full pipe for Teori. They're, they're gathering for that smoke. They've got the butterfly level 18 timing on the Medusa. That's super strong. What's the Roche? It's a minute. It's not bad for Asta. It's on the lower side. Not bad. I mean, Asta, they, they need it ASAP. Mm -hmm. Getting top tier two. Of course, yeah, Quest. They know the potential's there they're, for the Roche. They want to fight. They're ready to fight now. Find Vision playing around nighttime here with Amar leading the charge. And I have that vision of them, that night vision. He's going to try and start things. Okay, doesn't connect with the pounce, though. Uh, it feels pressure to, to pop Ooh. the shadow dance. If Lincoln's was broken. I guess he was scared of a blink lasso. Ward. Now from Asta. Haunting each other a little bit here. 40 seconds, shadow dance. Roche, in seconds. They're actually going to re-smoke themselves. 
They're gonna see Sumail in the mid lane though. They're gonna see that Sweep lightning. Keep it away from this. Ooh, perhaps he's gonna look for a jump. I mean, it, it's still gonna respect the fact that XXS is a, a bit of a scary target. Yeah, that's not the target you want to go for as this buck. But I mean, if they if they could swing across towards Sumail, it's a bit of a hard read to make because he's still under the smoke. But the new pushed out a couple of waves. Noob is Noob is setting up for him here. He's kind of looking. Yeah, Samuel's just going to play to the far side of the map. Another way from, from this bottom lane now. Map, but he's got boots to travel back up so he can go join his team immediately. And yeah, Roche. They can go into it's the Asta. Yep. I think around sort of the safety of XXS is tied on the, on the tide on the Ravage. And but got, they can try and force this. And they've got good vision right outside the pit there. They placed that ob sentry west. The creeps are actually inside of their base right now. So it's going to make the move here. They'll kill the Shiva's recipe. They know they're in there. Mars even bringing sentries to get rid of this vision. Roche can't commit for it just here. TA2000 starting to walk in here. Let's start tickling XXS. The Watcher over. Such Let's tense moments here. Move it from Asta. Oops. Oh, gives the information. Trying to see what's up on the high ground. They're Pro dropping the tomb. the tomb will be dropped. They're going to try and focus the tide first. Amar going in onto XXS. Building up stacks. The Shadow does jump up from him up, it's going to be dodged by XXS. XXS having the availability of the Ravage when he wants to. Off to the side, Pichu's going to get healed up by the Boca. They'll drop the Dream Cold just on to Pichu himself. It's enough to set up for the kill on the, the Bat Rider. They've lost in return Kaori. Ma, over towards XXS. Now he's going to be able to pop the Death Trap. Keeping TA2000 safe for now. Ravage, Ravage comes out. Tier 2000, the man is starting to get low. Mone's on top up. of him. He's able to put the snake out. He's got a bit more mana to keep fighting with Tier 2000. He's fighting. He's fighting. Up. They're going to be able to kill them all. Whoa. Wait, what pumped him up? With so was that a Lotus or something? Just the snake? The I think it was just the snake. He got, he got like 80% of his mana back. I think it just hit on all, the, all of them. I think it did. Maybe it did just bounce to absolutely everybody. Oh my God! Just I mean, stands his ground. That's unfortunately for Asta, the the, the the kind of their biggest nightmare. That's a devastating fight to have. They're getting everybody. Tier two thousand survives through it all. He just stands his ground. I mean, they had to commit so much to kill everybody else, and then Tier two thousand. I it had to. I, I need. I need to see it again. Was it a form? It had to have been like a perfect four man snake. I think he just like, bounced on all of them. I gotta see this again. Just look how low his mana dropped there for yeah, a second, I mean, right? It was like ten percent or something. I'm uh, buying time from there with the. The Death Shroud, but indeed. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, I get. I mean, bouncing to Lesh, as we said, Lesh's int is pretty damn high, but my goodness, TA2000 back up to full. Yeah, I think Amar sort of got all his mines down as well, so big damage done through those moments, and damn. Asta just getting cleaned up. Quest now having the lead. They're in the lead now, even though they lost that Rax. Yeah. TA2000 set up for that success. He's got all the buffs. Oh man, Aster. Monet, he's got an Agonims now, but as we saw, there's now there's the butterfly issue really coming into play that he couldn't actually focus fire this Medusa down. Tier 2000 now with the, the BKB. Can't help but feel that Asta may have missed their timing, unfortunately, they themselves. Here. They maybe have, it feels like maybe they got like one or, one or two more, perhaps. If they end up losing that next one, though, West just might run away with it. That Roche is still alive. They're setting up for it, too. Look at Quest's positioning. They know this Roche is going to swing over here. They're already on the high ground. Noob at the ready with this Octarine Arcane. Here comes that Roshan. Aster has to contest. 20 seconds until Ravage is back. This is a... Hey, this is... The, Quest can just start hitting it. They have the Tombstone. They have the Flesh Golem. Aster is forced to make the move over here. He already is actually hanging on to his Tombstone. Mar playing on the left side. Whittled down. Now with the blood right. There. The angle. Poker TA2000, but really doesn't care. Mark, that gives some information. You get at least like a steal or something. I mean, they're trying to, but the stopping the roast for a second, the coil. They're going to drop it onto Samael. Got him isolated. Now steps across. They've got them with the silence. The heels are coming in from Boboka. The son of Boboka. They're to take him out, but indeed the jump's perfect from Omar. Catches the two of them. Samael and Boboka taken down. And this fight around Roshan is coming to an abrupt end for Asta. I mean, Monet is attempting to try and get back in on this. 
Looking towards Kaori, but Amar is able to drop down. Petra, now they jump in over towards XXS. He'll get the Ravage off. He's having the, the Meteor Hammer follow up onto TA2000, but the Mancer's there. TA2000 perfectly fine. XXS is gone. They cannot take this fight, Asta. Monet can't hit anybody. The Ravage comes there and he's just walking back and forth. He's like, oh my god, I can't actually commit. And they're gonna lose the bat. Oh man, Aster. This is painful for them. Quest now gonna get the rush. They Ages might fight for Poker 2000. as well. They do, they catch him in the trees. Deal for the vision, the silence is there. Oh, they've done it. They really have. I don't see Aster being able to get themselves back out of this one. They've sure been knocked down bad. hard. 11k I mean, lead for Quest. Everything going Quest ways way now. They they had a, a decent opening to this game. They, they really did. They managed to build that lead. They were able to get the racks, but it, it always felt like it may not have been enough. And indeed, it seeming like it wasn't. A godly jump. The coil comes out, but Boca tries, but the fly in from the techies is there. They already have the stone gaze as well, too. The last just gets focus fired. Heavily in the lead now at this point. And TA2000, yeah, 4 1 and 9 this game on the Medusa. As that, I mean. The start we did say versus the Bloodseeker last year, the good core matchup, even though Aster is the one dictating the pace the whole time. TA2000 kept his cool and Amar, too, somehow. There's <laughs> this annoying Stark offlane that kind of got completely shut down. All he has to do is give the information for the team to get these type of jumps, get this type of success here for TA2000. And what do you do to, to players Aster's like lineup from behind? Now, who knows. Monet just feels like, what is, I mean, he built Agonims. They lost the fight. He was getting close to Agonims. He finished the Agonims. It didn't do much of anything. And now it's like another full item on the Medusa. He, he didn't have a solution for the butterfly, and it's nowhere in realms of him ever having one. Mars is having a great time now. He's got his Ags done. I mean, it's, I gotta be honest, it still was a really impressive game overall from Sumail. I think he's, he really played his heart out in this series. Now get the last up. Not much to show with that. I don't think TA2000 cares at all. I was up to the base. Quest guy. Stone's already on, on prep too, so they see absolutely everything. Anchor smash to attempt to slow things down, but Amar, a jump to poke. The reset. Tower's falling. Ravage up in one second. Deuce has got three lives now, and you couldn't bring her down once even before she had all these items. Tier 2000 almost teasing them there as he yeah. dances outside the stairs of the base. They forced everybody back. They're like, okay. I'm looking. The safest thing they can do is just kind of reset. Disaster, I mean, they're trapped in now. It's like, do they even want to attempt for some type of smoke kind of catch? Doesn't feel like they really can. They're actually just gonna go for relocate split push. A small amount of pressure here. Base seems a pretty terrifying affair here for Asta. And at his team. So close. But not quite enough. Quest. They always knew they were going to be able to get to this point quest yep. if they kept the game going. They just kept that farm always going. Knew. The Midas, the Midas offlane Slark coming to a pub near you. It's it doesn't good. matter if your lane doesn't go so well. It's good. <laughs> oh, doing that. Uh, well, it's doing grab. I mean, it's these smart fights, how they play. He can it. just sort of throw it himself in. Yeah. Get and it's tied, save people, bail them out with the death shroud. And play around the nighttime, right? You give it, you give a ton of vision whenever you're playing this, like Slark, or you're playing with Tombstone, so. Are we stuck in the tombstone? Not anymore. There we go. Mantas his way out of it. Uh, now he's in. What's the BKB stone gaze as well? They step Big forward. Damage. They're going to be able to get the jump onto some mail onto Baboko. They're both Too dead. Much. They might even just get XXS as well. They'll turn around with the tentacles. He has the ravage. It's a four. Well, it's the four of them there. It's, it's impressive. But, but it's not does nothing. He literally does zero damage. That's the bottom racks. They're going down. They're going down whether Asta like it or not. They can't stop this. As Quest, they can move towards another lane. There's three dead on Asta. Noob just holding Mone and Pichu back in the fountain. Putting out the high fives. That's it. The yeah, 2000 even just kind of forces Aegis to pop. He drops all his items so that it doesn't ensure that he dies. 
puts him back into his bags, and that push continues. Check again on the, the replay here. They try and get the jump. That looks really weird. I mean, he was what, grab allied into the tombstone, but I think... Did the Lotus Orb reflect the grab ally? No, I, know I think it just me? looked weird. Like, he was in the tombstone. But not really. But because he was lassoed when he was dragged into the tombstone, it looked... But why, like did, he still, why did he still show? I'm going to have to test this effort. I mean, this Something guy... funky just... Because I heard a Lotus Orb... I heard a Lotus re, uh, spell, right? Something got Lotused. I think that must have just been something else. Maybe it was just a spell. But anyway, he, it was, he was in the tomb, but not really. Okay, whatever. Well, he's just, you know, look at this Medusa. He's so fat, he can't fit in a tombstone. Oh. Look at him. It's 30k net worth nearly on tier 2000. He ain't fitting this guy in any tombstone. It's a male. Oh, he's no. He's been found. Oh, no. He just wanted... He was at the wishing well. He was wishing for another chance for this game. I guess so. It's, uh... He already knows. He knows that this one is, uh... It's in the books. This one is, it, it, it's not going to happen here for us to quest. No. Nope. He's going to toy with them as well too. Jump in the midst of all of them. The yeah, 2000 to charge in. Okay. Oh, they, they get the only stun as one. He has to put the BKB to run. Tries to turn to find some sort of rupture opportunity. He's not going to find it. The tier fours are going down. Four from XXS. Again, Monet not able to get the rupture off. He's caught by the silence this time. He's in trouble. Gonna tear the Lamar jumps in, he's trying to get back to the fountain, he's, he's gonna take it down. Corey finishes him off with a decay. XXS also to fall. That's got a buyback, Money. Did get the rupture off onto Omar. Well, oh, they got okay, the bring him in the fountain. There we go, the lasso nice. rupture combo. Omar oh. still alive. No way. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Okay, okay. <laughs> they will kill him. But he ain't thrown. exposed. Quest, they're looking to close this one up. Asta, have they got one more fight in them? I don't think they do, Monet. I don't think they do. He's not even going to be able to get out and hit any of the heroes. It's over. GG is called Quest Esports. We'll take this game, and with that, the series two to one today against Asta. Ah, uh, I mean, Sumail played his heart out. I